Around 15 years ago, I sat in the garage of my parents and liquefied ammonia into a gas bottle just like this one, a little bit larger, but I didn't film any of it. Um, and the pictures I made got lost on an odd hard drive. So I called Elias and asked him if he wanted to repeat this experiment. Of course. Yes, and he was in. So today we're going to use the ammonia in this ammonia solution, uh, boil it to get the ammonia out, dry the ammonia, compress it with this uh, air conditioning compressor into this gas bottle. We could actually just condense it using dry ice or liquid nitrogen. But that would be way too easy. Yes, and um, which means we compress it to around 8 bars, which is the vapor pressure of ammonia at room temperature, and fill this bottle with ammonia. And suffice it to say, ammonia gas is very dangerous, so this is not a tutorial and you shouldn't do this at home. To start, advanced tinkering is going to explain us how this entire contraption is going to work. The first thing we have to do is find a way to connect our pressurized side to the compressor. And back in the day, I used these hydraulic fittings here. They are called Schneidringverbindungen in German. I googled the translation and it says uh, cutting ring connection or cutting ring fitting. That's I'm, certainly correct. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Um, but they can hold way more than eight bars. I think they're good up to a few hundred bars depending on the type and um, to be able to connect it I'm going to brace on this fitting to this copper pipe here. Okay, we've braced on our fitting to the copper pipe. We've had problems with the type of brazing wire we used uh, at first but then we switched to a silver brazing wire and that worked fine. To connect our plastic tube here, this hose has a pressure rating of 27 bars, which means we have um, more than three times the pressure we basically want to reach, which I think is a good safety margin. And to connect them, we are going to use these hyd hydraulic fittings. The way they work is that we have this um, metal ring here, which gets pushed over the tube or the hose and when it's inserted, this nut here presses the ring onto the tube or the pipe and forms a, a gas-tight seal. The thing is, if you're using this type of connector with a um, plastic hose right, like this, you have to use these um, brass inserts here to make sure that the pipe or the, the tube does not get crushed. So that's what I have inserted right here. Now we can connect it to our fitting. Because this compressor, like any other oil uh, sealed compressor too, um, introduces some oil vapor into the exhaust stream, we have to uh, basically absorb or condense that oil, which means we have to use um, this piece right here, which will be filled with molecular sieve. And this way the oil will get trapped in here and not end up in our um, gas bottle. The second important part of the pressure line is uh, the pressure gauge right here to monitor the pressure in the system and this ball valve here which we can use to uh, on the one hand evacuate the cylinder and the whole pressure line so there's no air inside and also to vent the system. So now that everything here is connected we have the compressor, then we have the oil absorber and that is connected to our pressure gauge right here, which means we can connect it to our gas bottle. Um, we've tested the system to 15 bars. Um, it holds pressure, there are no leaks, which means Elias can explain to you the low pressure side and how we're going to produce the ammonia gas we will compress into this gas bottle. The apparatus is now fully assembled right here. It's quite a simple setup. We're going to put in the concentrated ammonia solution in here. We, the hot plate will be used to heat it and uh, all the water will hopefully condense in this condenser right here. And just the pure ammonia with trace amounts of water will go through this tube right here down into the washing bottle that we will fill 
with solid sodium hydroxide and that should absorb the rest of the water. We have two washing bottles just to make sure we have enough sodium hydroxide to absorb every trace amount of water. And from there it will go into our compressor. But we get stored in this bag right here first. And then we will, once this bag is full, we can turn on this compressor and it will suck all of the ammonia down here into our, um, into our gas bottle. And now for the most pleasant smelling part. I think the wind is blowing in your direction because I'm not smelling anything. Also not smelling a lot, but I can definitely smell it. Is this wirklich konzentriert? Jetzt, jetzt sehe ich es. Mach mal den Kühler da drauf. Ich dachte, okay, <lacht> Let's not forget to re-add this adapter for our hosing. And last but not least, we have to fill in the silicon oil into our oil bath. Before we start, um, we first want to flush out all the air inside the glass apparatus and the washing bottles here. For that, we will try to briefly turn on the compressor to pull a vacuum on the system and the ammonia should uh, release first before any water boils so we should be able to flush the whole site here with ammonia gas. And the side effect is that we pull a vacuum on our reservoir here um, which is just a trash bag uh, so there won't be any air inside either. Questions now, how long do we need to flush? Until we smell ammonia coming out of our... Uh, I'm not smelling anything yet. I am smelling something. You do? Whoa. Oh yeah, no, now I smell something too. <laughs> Which means the next step is to connect our high pressure line to the gas cylinder. Before um, we can compress our ammonia into our gas cylinder, I will pull a vacuum on the high pressure line and the gas cylinder via the vacuum pump right here and via the spall valve to remove any leftover air inside. Now that our um, plastic bag is almost full, we can start the compressor for the first time to compress our ammonia gas into our gas cylinder. What was that? Uh, the plastic bag uh, was sucked onto the opening of the tube. Yeah, but this must have been stained. Yeah, it's like silver. Uh, it's in a very nine. So our bag is now completely filled with ammonia gas. So I'm going to turn on the compressor so it will all get pumped into our gas bottle, which is hopefully open. It is. Okay, let's stop it. <coughs> uh, what do we do? Alter, der platzt gleich. Der, wir müssen Druck irgendwie ablassen. Basically, our compressor died. Oh, die Heizkasse aus. So, we have to do some last minute electronics repair. <laughs> Because apparently our uh, condensator. Capacitor. Because apparently our capacitor is uh, connected the wrong way around. Super cool. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what's different uh, from now and 15 years ago, but I mean it's 15 years ago. I knew that my compressor had problems uh, starting too, but not 
as soon as this one. Um, it's very hot, so we are going to put it in a bucket of water to cool it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's the professional way. Yeah, electronics and water always makes as well. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, the compressor should be hermetically sealed, so that shouldn't be a problem. It's läuft auch hier. Geil. Electrician. Sekunde. Thank you very much, Alexander. For figuring out our wiring problem here. If you want to marvel at our absolutely, my absolutely professional wiring job here and let me explain um, what the problem was before why the compressor wasn't starting. The problem was um, I additionally bought this starting capacitor additionally to the running capacitor but <laughs> since I'm a genius I wired it incorrectly so it didn't do anything. And the compressor has problems starting if there's already pressure on the high pressure side. So um, we got some help and we were able to fix this problem and now the compressor starts without any problems. We are leaving the compressor in this water bucket to cool it down because it gets quite hot and the water just helps to dissipate some of the heat. Since the water is grounded, <laughs> everything is good. Absolute safety. If you like my videos and would like to support me financially, consider joining my Patreon. You can find the link in the video description. And a huge thank you to all my current Patreons. After a few more bags, the compressor completely died. We closed the gas cylinder and vented the remaining ammonia in the pressure lines. So now that we have our bottle of liquid ammonia here, we can test for that by simply... Just joking, of course. <laughs> okay. Our compressor has now officially died, so we had to stop at this point. It basically ended the exact same way it did last time I did this experiment. But now we have at least 200 grams of liquid ammonia in here, which is quite nice. You can even hear it sloshing around in the bottle. I don't know if you can hear it from the distance. But if you have any suggestions what we can do with this, let us know in the comments. But we already have an idea and you will see in upcoming videos what that will be. Thank Thanks you a lot for, for watching. watching. Hey. <laughs> so we had to stop at this point. So it basically ended the exact. It basically ended the exact. It basically ended the same way I. Our compressor is now. <laughs> Thank you a lot for watching. Thank you a lot for. <laughs>